actor, philanthropist, visionary. Paul Newman recognized that water is one of the great challenges of the 21st century. He joined forces with two titans of industry, John Whitehead, former chair of Goldman Sachs, and Josh Weston, former CEO and chair of ADP. Safe Water Network was one of the most important things I think that he started. And the mission shall be to create an example of how to install water stations that are sustainable over time. They were these unlikely partners coming together and just creating great things. He told us that millions of children died every year because of a lack of safe drinking water. What we do with Safe Water Network is address a colossal public health problem. 17 countries are currently facing extremely high water stress. Victoria Sura lives on the outskirts of Juba City. Every day, she struggles to get water. This burden of gathering water each day falls disproportionately on millions of women and children around the world. For Theodora, that journey was not only difficult, it was dangerous. During dry season, we normally suffer a lot from a uh, water problem. You have only one world that we all depend on. Working here sometimes becomes a very big headache when it comes to water. Normally, when you are going there at dawn, it's very scary. Theodora and the other families of New Ajina brave this one and a half kilometer journey for contaminated water six times a day. On each trip, they could face extreme heat, wild animals, even strangers in the bush. A few months ago, Safe Water Network helped Theodora's village open a small water enterprise. Now that Safe Water is around, just getting your card and going to the ATM to just get a clean water anytime, even at dawn. Safe Water Network is providing support and training in New Ajina to keep safe water flowing long term. We are grateful for what they have done for us. Correct. Now in more than 400 communities in Africa and India, Safe Water Network is also helping to solve this global crisis by partnering with others, providing technical assistance, hosting forums, and publishing field insights. I was speaking with a chief in the community and he said, Safe Water Network has transformed how we, how we access water and how we're known within other surrounding communities. And it's also wonderful that this is a project that can be scaled up. To see what is happening in this community gives me hope that we can offer clean water all around the country. All of us have a responsibility, don't we, to make some contribution to the greater world out there beyond us, to those who were not as lucky as we were. Just one person can make a big difference, as Paul did. What could be better than to hold your hand out to people who are less fortunate than you are?